Hi, buddy. So, I don't really know what to talk about. I don't really know why I do the things that I do. I don't know when to post what I post. I try not to have a plan for when I do any of this stuff. And it's just kind of free flow, and that's probably why there's so many videos of, of Hero. Whereas the whole intent of the whole YouTube from the get-go was to spread love and joy and peace. And that's by talking about what I've learned through my journey. As within my life, I hated myself more than anything. And that was the majority of my life up until I got sober and clean and that was starting probably at least 10, 10, to, 10 to 11 years ago maybe more than that um, that's one of the first times that I had actual help to get sober um, whereas I knew that I couldn't stop drinking I was drinking that time so I'm coming on here to just kind of say that I'm doing my thing every day I'm posting my videos pretty much every day when I feel compelled to do something different, I do, which is what this is right here. And I don't have a plan, you know. I just put out the best vibes that I can. I'd be real, I'd be honest, I'd be truthful. And as I teach my kids, with that, you can't really go wrong. And that's what I'm kind of here to teach the world too. Just stay true, be you, know your truths. Too often, I see lies, manipulation, cheating. I just don't get it. But then at the same time I do because I was there too. Everyone is on their path, their journey. Everyone enjoying the different phases of life that each one brings. Even somebody at work right now going through the phase of having a new child. It makes me remember when I had my child. I mean, those are all phases. The same, yet very different for everyone. There's no room to judge. There's no room to finger point. There's no time ever to blame as everything within your life is you, an extension of you, your thoughts, your journey. And everybody else, we're here to help bring that into your vicinity of your life. Anybody that sees this and hears this and resonates with it, that's you. And here I am to tell you, you are loved, very much so. And if you're at that point in your life where you're at that vibration, that's why you're here. There is no name that you can give God. It's too small. We have a finite mind, a beginning and an end within this mind. Whereas God, universe, whatever you want to call it, is infinite. We can't even wrap our minds around that because we have a finite mind. Again, if you are here, you resonate in your understanding of this when I talk about it, when I type about it, when I post about it. But just finished a workout. Probably go ahead and put that up. I did make a video with that one. And uh, yeah, life's a journey, man. There are ups and downs. And like I said in the post today, there's a lot of times where those are supposed to build us where we end up turning inwards and it tears us down. The hard points in life, that is. Um, and they're constant. There's an up and down to life no matter who you are. At, at, at points, there's highs. At points, there's lows. And I feel that my path is to help to understand more so how to control those lows. I do not take medication. I've been called ADHD, bipolar, it's all just dumb names. Words, we made up words. Hum words are a human thing. And it was our ways to categorize and organize and things of that nature, the things that the human mind wants to do. That's just how it is. And it's funny because now we sit in a world that's offended by our own language that we created. And it's just, it's absolutely ridiculous. It's, it's, again, there's no place for any of it. Just be love. Know that other is you and you are other. 
How do you talk to yourself? Do you talk to yourself the same way that you talk to others? If not, there's a disconnect. Other way around, disconnect. We all wear masks, I get that. There's people that have masks that are much more deeply ingrained to who they are as far as the ego or the false self is concerned. Um, the goal-oriented, having to be a certain way, certain lifestyle, having certain cars, so on and so forth. That's for everybody who's in line with that. I don't like to disrupt heart spaces. I don't drive or flaunt things. And I read the Tao Te Ching and I believe very much so that when you start just holding on to things and stuff that's when you get robbers because you're putting an emphasis on material i think those two things are in alignment and very much truth to that just be love know that everybody's on their own journey be patient with them as you should be patient with yourself and i again i say all these things as a reminder to me because there's times where i get wrapped up where i get sad where I get mad. Even today, somebody asked me about a dating site thing, and uh, it, it makes me remember that it, it hurt me a lot. Like, it hurt my feelings. I felt very surface level. I felt like I was judging all these people that I did not know off of a, a simple physical feature. It's just nonsense, and I'm not here to force or control something through a means like that. I just feel that universe and God has something bigger in store and I just have to remain patient and true to my own self. As I do know that somebody that's going to be in my life relationally and close is probably somebody that has had much trauma that they have had healed as well where my perspectives and their perspectives will sort of line up or make sense. But yeah, I love you guys and wish you all the best and thanks for being here.